Triple Eight is a math app that really requires some higher order thinking. It's a math app that would be really good for enriched level students. If I click on the instructions real quick, it tells me that I'm going to be given a grid, and within that grid I can use any combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and then I'm going to tap on only three numbers to make a target number. The trick is that the numbers must be next to each other, whether it's horizontally, vertically, or in L shapes. The numbers are processed in the order that they are tapped, so it doesn't necessarily mean that order of operations apply. The faster that you answer, the more points you're going to get, um, but if you get a wrong answer, you take too long, you end up losing lives. So let's go ahead and click on New Game, and you can see here we have our grid, and in the left-hand corner we have our target score, we have our bonus speed, and we also have the number of lives we have. So we're going to go ahead and just click on a few numbers to try to get 14. So we're going to try 9 plus 6, which is 15, and then we're going to be saying minus 1. And as you can see, it shows us where we got our correct answer. And our score is 81, and we can go ahead and go on to the next round. Okay. As we go to the next round, we get a new grid, a new number. And let's say I go ahead and I click the number 8, and it pulls away the only numbers that I'm able to use, and I decide I don't that's not going to work out. I can go ahead and I can click on do and it will bring me back to the grid. I can also go ahead and let's say I click on some numbers and I get it wrong. What it's going to do is it's going to take away one of my lives and it's going to bring me back to the grid. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick a couple more so we can show you the end result. And now my game is over. As my game is over, a good idea for students might be to take a screenshot of what they do have done by pressing the power button and the home button. This way, you can kind of keep some running progress of students' totals, whether you end up making a graph of these totals, whether they are just go back and look at how they did each day or each time that they played. Another option would be to have students play with a partner. Playing with a partner would allow students to really talk out the answers and really compete with one another, but also work with one another to get the correct answers for each round. As mentioned, Trim's Light is a math app that requires a lot of higher level thinking skills, but works on the concepts of addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division.